abandoned. A lot of dead machines. Are those tooth marks on that machine? Tribal girl. You're a hunter. Machine hunter. I can smell it on you. There are oils and fluids. Oh, your hands are stained. Can I just scent your fingers? Uh, no. Uh, no, 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 of course not, no. <clears throat> Forgive me. In my head, it's, it's addled. Heavy with the taste of metal and lightning and prophecy. Do you dream of the metal world, Huntress? That's what you, Nora, call it. The ancient world? Yes, yes, you've almost touched it. You hunt the machines, strip the parts, reach into their guts, let the sacred fluids run out, spilling away into the earth, wasted. Open your mouth to inside. Drink up, that's what I did. I'm Bren. Uh... Yeah, looks like it. Those wounds. A sawtooth gave them to you on the hunt, didn't it? Oh, not just any sawtooth. Not just a hunt. I was low, quiet in the long grass, spear at the ready to bring it down. Then the scent, the taste of its blood overcame me. I pounced, wrestled it down, bit into it. Oh, so close. A shiver through my teeth as they ground along the wires. But its teeth won out. You're lucky to be alive, I think. Uh, until the wounds mend, flower into scars, only my mind can wonder. But why not trade, Huntress? You bring me the blood. I tell you what it reveals. You really drink the blood of machines? I heard tales of a tribe from the land where the sun goes at night. They were a suckle from the machines. No, 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 it's true. Took wisdom and strength from it, drew closer to them. Then the tales go dark. The whole tribe disappeared. Maybe because they all died? Drinking machine blood can't be good for you. Oh, first it made me sick. <laughs> then came the visions. For days and nights. Machine dreams, Huntress. Your Vanuk, is this normal for your tribe? My tribe, my tribe, my tribe. No tribe! The other shaman said, you've drunk in the machine spirit's madness, they said. This is not the way of things. Stripped me out on the ice and left me to die. Said, that's the way of things. Cold, unending. They cast you out, but you survived. Uh, perhaps. I remember the chill pressed in slow, spirited. Tall necks gathering their great dark heads over me like a garland. Then I was walking again, walking back to my once tribe. Uh, to return is to be forgiven, but I kept walking. <gasps> no one stopped me. These dreams you have. Oh, you're curious. Good. It'll give you a long life. I wish that for you. That's my blessing. Now we're sworn. I'll tell you how the visions began. All is silence. The sky is dark. I gather up the world and peel it back, expose the ancient metal beneath, like skinning a rabbit. It's warm to the touch, warm as the sun. Pressed against it, I feel sound. My heartbeat is the thunder of titans rising. Machines bigger than mountains, stronger too. The metal world carried on their shoulders. I'm not sure I like these visions of yours. They're an answer. But to what questions? I must know. 
I'll share. It's been interesting, but I should be on my way. Roam far, Huntress, and remember, the blood is precious to me. <laughs> yes. Good hunting at the Ridge of Vales. If you fell assault, bring me what spills, won't you? Not enough metal in the rainwater. Not for my taste. Or maybe too much. Attention. Precious. No space. Ah, Huntress. You've brought me the blood of the Sawtooth. Yes. I smelled it a hill away. Don't make me regret it. Wait here. It takes time, and the visions are strong. No matter what you hear, what screams, keep your distance. Starting to regret it. Before the time of the Sawtooth, the machines ran as one pack. Metal drumming on metal, keeping pace out to the lightning's edge. The rumble of low storms, that's them in motion. <laughs> 
And then, a confusion. Something has changed. The great direction breaks, splits off like a dead branch. They're tumbling now. When they recover, violence is what they know. Now, metal screeches on metal. A death dance learned from wars before our eyes had learned to see. The Sawtooth, the Ravager, they hunt in the long shadows of others. Jagged shapes, old shapes with bloody eyes. And the machines no longer rise and swell as one thing, an all thing. You're quite the storyteller, but what's it mean? All meaning is not for me to say, only what I saw. And you saw all that? Yes. <laughs> Doesn't it make you wonder? The machines that drive other machines mad, corruptors, it's their venom I must taste next. Do you have any idea what that could do to you? Oh, you've drunk it before, of course you have. I found fallen ones on coiled canyons, cliffs, under the sun. It boiled inside them. <laughs> the vapor. <laughs> Intoxicating! The only one who wants those characters.
Ugh, the stink. So did you smell this blood coming? It stinks. Uh, the richest is not always the sweetest, Huntress. In the jungles of the Jewel, a fruit grows but reeks of spoiled meat. Taste it, though, honey to the tongue. <sighs> no. <clears throat> this is disgusting. These corruptors never belong to the herds. They crawl from beneath desert or rust from the bones of old machines. Sickness to spread. That's how they came. Cold metal runs hot, uh, buckles with thorn cuts and tail stings. A fever of obedience. My ears are ringing. I grasp at my tongue. An ingot falls out, stamped with circles and lines. Uh, directions, instructions, to break a machine's will. I heard the metal screaming, Huntress. I leave the ingot where it falls. This isn't for us to know. Corruptor after corruptor tramples it in their greedy tread. That is how they work. Kind of. How do you know these things? It's not what I know, Huntress. It's what the blood knows. Am I the singer or the song? I don't know what you are. Maybe get some rest. No rest when there's unknown journeys to prepare for. Do you know of the hidden machines that hunt men deep in the jewel? Stalkers? Yes, I know of them. Oh, stalker blood next? Sure, why not?
It's a clever trick they have, but no need to see what you can scent. This blood is sharp, Huntress. Flint sharp. <laughs> the last time I took it into me, they say I slept the sleep of death and sweated dark oil. All right. Try not to die. A stalker. Watching us. Watched by us. In red eyes, I thought to see ourselves reflected. No. They were dull and set. Set with a purpose precise from their machine mother foundries. They pray. They will not flinch. They are indifferent to the wild. They are final. They are weapons, that's all. My heart drops. Why look for understanding in the axe the moment before it splits your skull? No. No, 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 there's more. The axe does not remember its smelting. These machines do and pine for the metal world. It's hard to know what to make of you. Then open my mouth and look inside. <laughs> A cave of echoes and memory, but not my own. I mean, you're tough-skinned, I'll give you that. Especially on the inside. I first drank at the spring of a fallen thunderjaw. The cables cried out like water birds. But felling giants is short work for you. Trying to appeal to my pride? No. <laughs> to inevitability, Huntress. The tremor of their tread. Can you feel it? Tugging you to the eastern valleys? So a thunderjaw next, huh? But of course.
I hunted that Thunderjaw you asked for. I should be the one telling a story this time. You carry it with you. Beam wire burns and bruises. The salt lines of your sweat. See? On your skin. Tiny metal flakes. You mean it was a hard fight? How perceptive. <laughs> what signs you've shown me, Huntress. But now... I followed red trails through a green world. Thunderjaw, striding with the majesty of an old god. These wicked parts fashioned to kill men. This great hole made to haunt the sleep of children. And I realize it is a young beast. It was not there to see the first strange birds roost upon a metal skull. It became because of us, hunters. I saw many of tribes gone and yet to come. I even saw you there, fiery-haired, fierce, bared. What? Bared of metal, hunters. Bared of what we tore from their hides to be strong like them, savage like them. We built our world in the machine's shadow, called them out with every strike of rock and hammer. You think something, some machine, made the Thunderjaw because of us? When you've tasted what I have, in the blood there's change. Such a change. It's colder than Banur, hotter than the Karja sun. Does any machine walk or crawl that you haven't drunk from? Uh, in the mountains north. The storm burns. Even the air in their passing crackles with potency. In the sweep of their eyes, they see all. <sighs> Don't get too excited. I'll get the Stormbird blood. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> they must know how the orbit slows, fades, falls, decays, and yet returns to more than zero. Yeah, uh-huh. Easy, easy.
powerful. Burns at my fingers, but not like the corruption does. Maybe I've spent too much time with you. I can almost feel the lightning in this. And the taste, huh? Metal striking sparks along a sharpening stone, lingering. Here, uh, touch it to your tongue, and... Nope, that's your thing, not mine. You look startled. Are you okay? I... I must leave. You should too. Without a story, I brought down a stormbird. You did. You're very able. And you're right. Ode is ode. But no more stories of the past. All told, all done. Future stories. I saw an onrushing storm. The future comes hungry for man and machine. It will catch me, I expect, catch us all. So enough hunts, enough visions. I'll run, <laughs> chase that teasing sun to the forbidden west. I, I don't understand. I mean, not that I ever understand, but are you saying we should fear what's coming? Oh, yes! Jungle on fire! Machine blue light dying out in the eddies of ashes. You, fallen, pale as snow flash, eyes staring open. The metal world, but not the one I sought. The future is a frightful dream, Huntress. My name is Aloy. I grew fond of you. Your curiosities and disbeliefs, they are. If you weather this storm, look for me. I like that. Where? In the west? In the storm? In dreams.